Hey y'all, let's delve into the world of astrology to uncover hidden patterns that can provide valuable insights into what potentially could have happened to Alex Easterling on April 20th, 2022, the last day he disappeared. Firstly, let's take a look at the chart. Notice the repeated patterns at 4, 16, and 28 degrees. These angles indicate possible threats to the victim or their family. Analyzing the positions in the chart reveals intriguing scenarios. For instance, Pluto in the third house signifies communication, local surroundings, short trips, and vehicles. This suggests potential chaos or accidents involving cars. The placement of Pluto at 28 degrees also raises concerns. It signifies threats to the victim and their family. Along with domestic violence, the moon in the second house relates to possessions and material concerns. It indicates areas of focus, such as belongings, finances, and personal items. At 28 degrees, the moon reflects themes of nurturing, the home, public image, and emotional ties. These aspects add crucial layers to the predictive analysis. The victim's Sagittarius placement hints at premeditation of the crime. Venus, acting as the point of interest, sits in the fourth house, associated with home matters and resolving issues. Depending on the specific timing, Venus may influence entertainment, recreation, or social gatherings. Positioned at 16 degrees, Venus signifies nurturing, domesticity, or public attention. Neptune's presence in Pisces signifies potential substance abuse, mental health issues, or deception. Located in the fifth house, Neptune points to recreational activities, indulgences, and creative pursuits. The alignment with Jupiter can indicate oil or water-related incidents. Uranus in Taurus symbolizes sudden events, suffocation, or aggressive actions. At 13 degrees, Uranus signifies rapid developments, conflict, or disruptive influences. Its position near the seventh house highlights themes of abuse, particularly in domestic settings. Chiron's placement in Aries hints at head injuries or physical trauma, potentially intensified by its conjunction with Jupiter. The Sun's position in the sixth house relates to health, work, and potential threats like stalking. Mars at 4 degrees suggests anger or aggression, particularly in domestic or concluding situations. Lilith in the 8th house signifies darker themes like death, criminal activities, or financial misconduct. Lastly, the south node in Scorpio alludes to hidden truths or undisclosed aspects related to the victim, and Saturn in Aquarius points to elevated or well-lit locations, either within buildings or outdoors. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative or interesting, please consider subscribing.